Okay, uh, here we are again and uh, in this video we are going to just do some homework that is uh, creating the infrastructure first. So here is uh, my workstation and I have already created a base VM. So that is uh, my base, base image. So here you see that this is a CentOS image and uh, I have created this and uh, I have installed uh, Java, I have installed Maven and I have ins installed the Git. So uh, these uh, three tools already I have installed in, uh, in this image. And uh, now what we are going to do is we are going to create three VMs out of this base image. And uh, uh, let's go forward and uh, create those. and. For those who wants to um, know how this base image is created, maybe you can follow my uh, previous videos of installing uh, CentOS on um, using uh, VMware Workstation and on CentOS how, how to uh, install Java, how to install Maven and how to install Git. Uh, so all those already have uh, uh, mentioned I have already uh, created videos on those so uh, you can follow uh, those videos that's to learn so without wasting time let's uh, go forward and uh, create uh, some uh, VMs out of this image so here what we can uh, do is we just create some clones out of this image out of this image before that let me go forward just for a logical purpose I am going to uh, create a folder called uh, maybe Jenkin Enterprise. So this is uh, I created a folder called Jenkin Enterprise. Now <coughs> click here and right click on this image. Go to Manage and Clone. Go to Next. Well. Um, this folder I have created on my um, workstation, but I have not created any uh, on my uh, lab here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a folder here called Jenkin Enterprise. In that, I'm going to create three uh, separate folder cloud b uh, jenkin and price then another Jenkins Enterprise uh, and Jenkins Operation Center, and the another one is Jenkins uh, Shared Slave. Okay, so uh, these are the three uh, VMs I'm going to create, and I created um, three separate. Uh, folders so that I can use this uh, for three folders for creating and uh, saving my clones. So here go forward and uh, you see that okay I'll start from be beginning again. Right click manage clone next create current state that is uh, okay create a uh, full clone and now here I can choose those folders which I just created. Jenkins Enterprise and here Enterprise. I just, uh, maybe I get the same name. Finish. And you see I'm creating VMs with uh, four gig of RAM and two processors. 
two processor in the sense two B CPUs, uh, virtual CPUs. And I have two hard disk in that 120 a gig each, which I have created. So this is the base image, CentOS base image is having a four gig of RAM, two processor and um, two virtual disk, each 128 gig. So this is done. So now uh, just take it here. Uh, well, I can in this folder, uh, so CloudBees Jenkin Enterprise, okay. Now you see here I have my VM. Similarly, here again I'll create one clone. Next, what is the state? It is uh, powered off, right? So create full clone. Choose the other directory which I created. Operation center now. So I'll just uh, name the same here. Finish. So this will create another VM. This is a bit faster now. So now I'll create another one again. Clone. Next. Next. Full clone. So browse and go to the other directory that is cloud and uh, enterprise shared slave okay so i call it okay so uh, now i have my three vms kind of ready uh, just i'll take it here jenkin operation center here and the jenkin okay so here, <clears throat> now if you see that uh, Jenkin Enterprise, I have Jenkin uh, shared slave, Jenkin Operation Center, and my uh, infrastructure is ready now. Only thing is now I have to, okay, here, first thing first, I have to change the IP address of each of these VMs. So go forward and just start the server. you can just start all those every server you can just start so you can see what is the resource utilization of my desktop that is 31 percent cpu and only 4.5 out of 32 gig of ram utilized still i am having a lot of resource okay so no worries i'm just creating three vms right now uh, for the sake of simplicity uh, so that we can recognize just i'm going to change the host name of each okay I'm going to change the host name of each VM. I'm going to uh, uh, change the IP address of each VM. Then uh, after those basic work, then only I'll, our servers will be actually ready for the installation of the Jenkins so uh, Cloud-based Jenkins Enterprise software. For that, what I have to do is just go and log in with your login ID, whatever you have. Maybe I'll lo log in with root. Okay, so uh, here, first thing is I will change the IP address. So VI TC sysconfig network script if CFG. Okay, this one. I uh, just added that I have already uh, have a static. So I have given 20 previously to my image. Now just I have to uh, I'll just call it, let it be 41, I'll start from 41, 42 and 43, I'll give three IPs and just save it, right? 
and change the host name for our simplicity. So you can do that with this command hostname CTL. Set host name. So this is hostname control, set hostname. And we can give uh, Jenkins Enterprise Server dot local domain. Okay. So here I am going to have uh, change the host name Jenkins Enterprise Server dot local domain. Okay. Uh, well, that's all. And just reboot this machine. This VM. Okay. Now same thing I'll do with this one. Root ABC one. So VI etc sysconfig network script ifcfg I'll uh, do it 42 and I'll uh, host name I'll call it uh, Jenkins Operation Center, right? OP Center. So I'll call it OP Center dot local domain Jenkins Op Center. Okay, Op Center local domain. Okay, now reboot this machine as well. I'll same thing I'll do root of This is I'm going to use as 43. Set host name. <clears throat> this is Jenkins. Uh, set slave dot. I'll call it Jenkins shared slave local domain reboot okay so now uh, my other machines are already now you see that host name is changed this is host name changed uh, you can log in just to check IP address uh, so this is now 41 43 right so here I now my uh, VMs are ready now uh, Another thing I like to I like uh, people to do it like uh, how to access those f not from here so that uh, it will be easy for uh, not I, I do not access those uh, VMs from the uh, console of workstation. What I, I like to access from maybe putty. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'll show you how to how easily you can set up putty to access those VMs and just with a click. So 
uh, that's what if you see here I have but he here uh, that's what I have if you see all those I have created actually shortcuts for my different VMs uh, same thing uh, just create a uh, shortcut send to uh, this is the original putty uh, by the way exe file and just create send to uh, desktop so that you create a new shortcut to that and just edit this Pro go to properties and for table you i have uh, as p nayak is i have created already one uh, user so 192.168.0.41 and set password to abc123 i have given this as password so with this and click ok and just change the name of this rename to jenkins enterprise server jenkins enterprise server now my shortcut is ready just if i double click i'm logged in to my machine right so I found this is easier if you want to do uh, work a lot and you want to access but this is not a good idea for uh, um, production environment because you are uh, see you, you are putting your password there but this is a dev environment just a, a test environment so here you can just give it p and, I, uh, and, and the password is you are setting with a clear text so don't do that in a production environment where you don't want to show your password okay don't do that this is thus for uh, learning so uh, there's no problem i i can just access this similarly i can create okay for, for other um, uh, vms as well so just uh, copy this and paste it and again paste it so that i'll just change it now uh, I'll rename this i called jenkins up center Jenkins up center and this is a uh, Jenkins shared stuff shared slave you see my and you have to change the properties of these as well so 42 and this is the you have to change the IP 43 so now they are ready if you just, just double click you, you check uh, my option enter here and you check okay this is my jenkins shared slave so uh, now all the uh, vms are ready and uh, all the vms are ready and uh, now i can access those from party so uh, with this uh, let's see and in my next video we are going to install uh, the jenkins enterprise uh, software in this uh, VMs now uh, our, our uh, infrastructure is ready here okay so let's go forward in and install Jenkins in my next video